Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to figure out how far from the finish line is the slower runner when the faster runner is done with the race. Now, I know you're probably gonna roll your eyes, but this is actually a pretty fun problem. And I know you're saying, no, it's, it's physics problems, it's not fun, because it's kind of cool. All we're really doing is just manipulating the velocity equation in a multi-step problem to figure out the distance of where the runner will be. So to do that, we're going to figure out how fast the runner one, the, the faster runner ran the race in. So we'll say runner one, we need to figure out the time. So to do that, we'll be using the velocity equation, which is delta x over delta t. Let's isolate delta x, so move delta t over. So that gives us delta x is equal to v times delta t. And now we can isolate t by moving velocity over. And so that gives us the final equation that we'll be using, which is delta t is equal to delta x divided by velocity. All right, so now let's plug that in here. So runner one, the delta t is equal to the distance, and it's eight kilometers for both because they're both, both running the same race. And then the velocity that the faster runner ran it in was 14 kilometers per hour. We've talked about this in previous problems, but I write it like this so that you can easily see that when we multiply by the reciprocal, because we're dividing by a fraction, the kilometers will now be able to cancel out, leaving us in hours, so we know we did our math correctly over here. So 8 kilometers divided by 14 kilometers per hour gives us 0 0.571, 0 0.571 hours. All right, so this is how long it took the runner one to run the race. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to use this time with the, the velocity of the slower runner to figure out how far they went in that same amount of time. Because if you think about it, right, at that time, that's when the faster runner is done, where was the other runner? That's what we're trying to find here. So R2 for the slower runner is we're going to be finding the delta x, which we already isolated up here. So delta x, or where were they, is equal to the velocity times the change in time. So now we're going to use their velocity. So we have their velocity was 11 kilometers per hour. And then the time that we're trying to figure out where they're at was the 0.571 hours. So 0 0.571 hours, and that gives us 11 times 0 0.571. We have 6.29, 6.29 kilometers was their position. Now, we want to know how far away were they from the distance. So we want to know how far away they were from the finish line. So we need to take eight kilometers for the finish line, and then we'll subtract from that the 6.29 kilometers. So eight minus 6.29 gives us 1.71 kilometers. So this is the distance that the slower runner was from the finish line when the faster runner was already done.